our last podcast, we visited the problem that gave us 100 milligrams of uranium-238, which are stored in a container. We were asked to determine how many years it would take for only 10 milligrams to remain in that container if the half-life of uranium-238 is 4.47 billion years. In our last podcast, we discovered our constant K by using information we were given. Now that we have our constant K, found to be equal to 1.51 times 10 to the negative 10, we can use the following information to figure out how many years it will take for only 10 milligrams to remain. Using our exponential decay formula again, we know that we have found our constant. We also know that A is the initial amount. In this problem, we are told that we have 100 milligrams. Like I said, K, we have to be 1.551 times 10 to the negative 10. And we want to know for what time. We're also saying, in what time will we have 10 milligrams? Which is why we set that left-hand side equal to 10. Now, if we divide both sides by 100, we get 0.1 equal to e raised to the negative 1.551 times 10 to the negative 10 times our unknown time of t. Like in the last podcast, our value that we search, t, is in the exponent of our constant e. So let's take the natural log of both sides. When taking the natural log of both sides, we get the natural log of 0.1 equal to the natural log of e raised to the negative 1.551 times 10 to the negative 10 power times t power. Now we can use the property, the power property of exponents to put this negative 1.551 times 10 to the negative 10 times t as a coefficient out front, and we know that the natural log of e is equal to 1. So we're left with the natural log of 0.1 equal to our constant k times t. Now if we divide both sides by our constant k, we will solve for t. The natural log of 0.1, I approximated on my calculator to find it to be close to negative 2.3025. And again, dividing that by our constant, negative 1.551 times 10 to the negative 10, gives us a t value of 1.484 times 10 to the 10th. In other words, it'll take approximately 14.8 billion years for only 10 milligrams of uranium-238 to remain in our container.